What is up, Bill here, and thank you for stopping by for yet another video. And I've spoken in previous videos about weight plus dimension uh, with coins, coins issued from a sovereign government like Silver Eagles, Krugerrands, Maple Leafs, uh, Britannias, or the like, you can look up the diameter and weight and width of these coins and using the three of them you can tell whether a coin is real or not. Uh, I've seen good fake coins with the right weight but the thickness will be off or the diameter will be off so there's always a way to tell with a coin. But What do you do with bars? What do you do with bars like this? One ounce generic <clears throat> silver bars I purchased a load of these from my local wholesaler today. Um, there's no specific, I mean bars come in all different shapes and sizes. So how do you tell? It's kind of hard. So an easy way to tell is to test the density of the metal. I mean I automatically test all my uh, any coins or metals that I acquire. I test with a Sigma uh, metal analytic analyzer or a precious metal verifier. But not everybody has a $1,500 precious metal verifier laying around so how can you tell how can the average you know collector or somebody just getting into it tell if their coin if their if their uh, uh, bars are real well the best way to do it is test the density so we know we have one ounce one troy ounce silver bar here so it should weigh in at 31.1 grams and when we put it on the scale uh, it's coming back 31.1 <clears throat> It seems to be bouncing between 31.1 and 31.2. This scale, I guess, tall dollar scale. Um, it's not laboratory precise, but it's close enough. And you can always be a point, maybe two, three points off, you know, as long as it's not ridiculously off. So it does measure in at 3.11. Um, the thing that we need to do now is just grab a glass of water, uh, set it on the scale. And if your scale has a tear button, hit the tear button, that will reset it. Uh, you can also turn the scale off. And you should be able to turn the scale on with that water on there and it come to zero, which it does. And it is set for grams, so now we need to determine what the density is. Uh, I've got a slip knot made already over here in my little thread. Uh, I just use a piece of thread. You can use dental floss. Um, if you use anything thicker and it you might want to dip it into the water to see if it registers on the scale. If it does, make a note of that number and you can deduct it from your end number. Once you've got it suspended, just dip it into the water. Do not touch the glass. Do not let it set on the bottom of the glass. Uh, I'm getting 3.0, um, 2.9, 3.0. So it's bouncing. It's bouncing, which typically does on this scale, uh, 3.1, uh, 3.1, 3.0. All right, so 3.0 seems to be the average. Uh, let's go with 3.0. So you got your two numbers now. You got 31.1 grams that it weighed, and divide it, divide that by. Three zero, and I goofed up. Let's see, thirty-one point one divided by three point zero equals ten point three six. On this scale, that's typically what it usually comes out to. Uh, ten four uh, to ten six is to be expected. Um, I've done this a hundred times, and mine usually comes out to ten point three six, ten point three eight. If this were some other metal, it would be way off. I mean, it wouldn't even be in the ballpark. So it's pretty apparent here that we are definitely dealing with a genuine 999 silver one ounce bar. So that is an easy and inexpensive way to test your silver bars. You can also test your one ounce silver coins using the exact same method. You can also test your gold. You just have to look up what the density is. Um, I know that the silver density uh, on this scale usually falls around 10.36 to 10.42. It's pretty average for any one ounce silver coins or bars I test using that method. So I know 
using this method that they are legit. Um, silver's falling right now, so it's a great time to go out and buy. Uh, so with that, have fun. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.